Let's go to another example. This example is to graph 5x minus 4y is greater than or equal to 8. 5x minus 4y is greater than or equal to 8. Step 1 is to solve the inequality for y. And so we begin by subtracting 5x from both sides. Solve for y. We have 5x subtract 4y subtract 5x is greater than or equal to negative 5x plus 8. Remember that we're subtracting 5x from both sides and adding or subtracting something on both sides of an inequality does not change the inequality symbol. Therefore, the greater than or equal remains unchanged. On the left, the 5x subtract 5x cancels, leaving us with negative 4y. And on the right, negative 5x plus 8. All we've done is simplify, and so the inequality symbol remains as it was, greater than or equal to. So we have negative 4y is greater than or equal to negative 5x plus 8. Now to get the y by itself, we must divide both sides by the coefficient of y, which is negative 4. And so I've rewritten the problem with the negative 4 divisor. Negative 4y over negative 4. Negative 5x plus 8 over negative 4. Remember that when you divide both sides of an inequality by a negative number, the inequality symbol reverses. Greater than or equal to becomes less than or equal to less than or equal to. Let me star this step. This is where the inequality symbol reverses. On the left, the negative 4 is cancel. On the right, we decompose the fraction and get negative 5x over negative 4, which is 5x over 4, or 5 fourths x, positive 8 over negative 4, which is negative 2. And we get y is less than or equal to, all we've done is simplify, y is less than or equal to 5 fourths x subtract 2. So the inequality that we will be working with has now become y is less than or equal to 5 fourths x subtract 2. Notice that in the original problem, the inequality symbol was greater than or equal. In the part we'll actually graph, we have y is less than or equal to. This will be important as we decide about the shading. I'm going to circle this version of the inequality because this is the one we actually use. So our task now is to find the boundary line. The boundary line is found by replacing the inequality symbol with equals. The boundary line is y equals 5 fourths x subtract 2. The boundary line is y equals 5 fourths x subtract 2. We'll make our table of values. Remember that when we choose our x values, we want to choose numbers that are easy to work with in the problem. Since we have a fraction with a 4 denominator, we'd like to choose x values that are multiples of 4. Let's use negative 4 and 0 and 4. So we're working with graphing the boundary line, y equals 5 fourths x subtract 2. The x values that we'll use are negative 4, 0, and 4. Filling them in, y equals 5 fourths times negative 4 subtract 2. 5 fourths times negative 4 is negative 20 fourths, which is negative 5. Negative 5 subtract 2 is negative 7. So we have the point negative 4, negative 7. Filling in 0. y equals 5 fourths times 0. Subtract 2. 5 fourths times 0 is 0. And 0 subtract 2 is negative 2. And so we have the point 0, negative 2. Then filling in 4, we have y equals 5 fourths times 4 subtract 2. That's 20 fourths, which is 5 subtract 2. 5 subtract 2 is 3. 
And so the third point is 4, 3. Let me put the inequality symbol, the inequality and the graph beside the table of values. We're going to graph y equals 5, 4, 6, subtract 2. <coughs> Our first point is negative 4, negative 7. To the left, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Down 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So there's the point negative 4, negative 7. Then 0, negative 2. 0, down 2. Then 4, 3. To the right, 4, 2, 3, 4, up 3, 1, 2, 3. Here are the three points for the boundary line. The boundary line is for less than or equal. Equal is included, and so we do graph the equals, that is, we do draw a solid line. So let me line up my ruler and draw the solid boundary line for this one. A solid boundary line. For this solid boundary line, we have the shaded portion as the portion that goes with y is less than or equal to the expression. For y is less than or equal to the expression, we get the lesser values of y, which are the values that are going down. That means we'll shade below this one. And so the shaded portion is below the boundary line. Now let's check the shaded portion by checking a point above and a point below. For the point above, let's use the origin as before. And so our above point in the check will be 0, 0. We fill in for y, the 0 value. For x, the 0 value. And that gives us, on the left, 0, the less than or equal to, on the right, 5 fourths times 0 is 0, 0 subtract 2 is negative 2, 0 less than or equal to negative 2, 0 cannot be less than a negative number, and it certainly does not equal a negative number, and so this one is false, and we notice that the false goes with the unshaded portion, which means that checks correctly. Then as a double check, we'll check a point below the boundary line. For a point below the boundary line, this will be any place in the shaded portion. Let's use um, this point. And this point has coordinates 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 4. 5, negative 4 for this point. So our point below for the check will be 5, negative 4. In place of y, we fill in negative 4. In place of x, we fill in 5. And so we have negative 4 is less than or equal to 5 fourths times 5, subtract 2. On the left we have negative 4, less than or equal to, then 5 fourths times 5 is 25 fourths. Subtract, whoops, 2 is a whole number. As a fraction it would be 2 over 1. We must get a common denominator of 4. And so, 1 into 4 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8. So we have negative 4 is less than or equal to 25 fourths subtract 8 fourths. This gives us negative 4 is less than or equal to 25 subtract 8 is 17, and so we have 17 fourths. But notice that on the left we have a negative number, on the right we have a positive number, and clearly, a negative number is less than a positive number always. That makes this statement true. And so, we checked the true on the shaded side.
and that means the shading is correct. Let's do one more example.